What is going on everyone? This is Jacob Amaral here. It's been a while since I uploaded a video and you know what time it is. Today we're going over my May 2020 returns in the stock market with my automated trading bots. At the end of each month, I show my profits or losses on how well my trading systems did and showing you in full transparency uh, how well they are doing. So let's hop into it and get started. All right, so here are my returns for May of 2021. Um, I got this new lens thing, so I can zoom in on some of the numbers so you can see better transparency what they do. But um, so to start off, there's my account number and name here, the top left giving you full transparency. If I click SIM 101, you can see the results change. Um, meaning basically that's paper trading. Uh, if I uncheck it, it's actual real money because uh, my account is checked. So my total returns for May of 2021, uh, which was up here. I don't know if you guys find this annoying or not, but I thought some people couldn't see the numbers uh, was 50 or five thousand three hundred and sixty six dollars and fifty eight cents in net profit after commissions so very very uh, happy with that you can see i made a lot of money on the long side and on the short side i actually lost money so obviously subtracting the two um gets you that five thousand dollars so overall i mean I'm, I'm pretty pumped that this was like probably my highest month net profit wise um so very very happy about the results um and uh, yeah, I hope to continue this going forward. So um, gross profit was 15K, gross loss was 10K, commissions I paid $127, although I think it's higher. Uh, I don't think I've set the correct com um, set the correct commissions because NinjaTrader doesn't grab the actual commissions from my broker, I have to set them. Uh, profit factor of 1.51, we had a max drawdown of $9,000 down. So definitely a, a very volatile month for sure. Um, a sharp ratio of 0 0.37, which is not that great. Um, Sortino of 1, ulcer index of 0 0.02, and a probability of a trade at 30%. Um, so there's the dates. We had a 44% win ratio, 13 winning trades, uh, 16 losing trades for a total of 29 trades. Let's hop on down here. Average trade, I made $185 in profit. Average winning trade was $1,200. Average losing trade was $600 and a 1.86 average win to average loss. We had seven max consecutive winners, 13 max consecutive losers. Our largest winning trade was seven grand. Our largest losing trade was two grand. Average trades per day was 1.68. Average time in the market was 1.14. Profit per month estimated is $6,000. Um, max time recover to recover was two days. Longest flat period was 6.99 days. Uh, max average, Excursion is $681. Um, I think max average, no, max adverse excursion is 681. Max favorable excursion was $1,000. And I forget what ETD is. I'll have to Google that. Um, I don't know that metric. Um, so overall, a great month. Um, very volatile for sure. Let's check out the analysis here for the chart. So probably don't need the magnifier here. Can I turn it off? So you can see at one point I was up over $12,000 for the month, which would be insane. I can't wait to make five figures a month. I think I'll get there one day, but at one point I was up over 12,000. Um, then I humbly, humbly accepted um, some drawdown loss and my strategies, you know, just got pummeled uh, near the end there. Um, but we still ended the month green. Um, right now I have, so I got five strategies two of which are running with real money and the other three are incubating or basically running in a in a paper trading account and that as i at the top left here the sim 101 would actually show those trades uh, as well in addition so um my monday and wednesday trading systems um they are they they, they didn't do too well at the end of the month there obviously we saw that quite a bit of a drawdown i mean from being up twelve thousand to now only five that's that's quite a quite a drop um and yeah they, they just they got they got pummeled um we saw a lot of sideways action on those days and and all my trading systems right now day trade so they generally don't do well if it's sideways we need you know a solid kind of trend in one direction 
and that's how they got wrecked. Um, they don't always work, but I, and then the other three, the other three are doing well. They will be good to go for July. Um, with every new strategy, I paper trade it for a month just to make sure everything is, you know, all the T's are crossed and I's are dotted and everything's working correctly. And then if it's profitable for the month, I launch it live. And so far, Friday, Thursday, and the Tuesday trading systems are doing very well. So that's good. Um, Monday and Wednesday, I'm looking at tweaking potentially, but so far they're, they've been profitable year to date. So I want to keep them running and not change them and focus on other ones. And then I'm also looking at creating a trading system for Sundays because I trade futures and um, you can actually trade on Sundays uh, starting at 6 p.m. Eastern. So looking at potentially doing that. But overall, I'm very happy with the results. As far as June goes, I am down for June. So it might be a red month um, unless I, I really pull something out of the hat there. I think I'm down like one or two grand, um, but it, it's probably gonna be a red month. You'll see that video at the end of June. And um, what else? Yeah, so overall, very great month. Um, I want it. My goal is to do, you know, five figures a month consistently. Um, that would be amazing. I think I'd be really happy with those results, but I know it's gonna be some time to get there. And I know not every month is gonna be green, right? You're gonna have red months. And if, as long as my green months can be more than my red months and they can be five figures a month, I'd be so happy. So that's kind of my goal. As far as position sizing, they're kind of staying the same. I'm, I'm trading two contracts of the NASDAQ futures and I don't plan on upping it yet. It's just, you can see like on, uh, right here, like that day, that day alone, the 26th, I lost $6,000. And, uh, you know, that's only with two contracts. Obviously it made, uh, how many trades did it make that day? Well, that was the ninth trade. Yeah. That lost quite a bit. So I, I can't be upping the contract size yet. For now, I need to take it slow. Um, also, I didn't even talk about return on my account. So yeah, I made $5,000. Um, so that's about over a 10% return on my account. Um, actually, no, it's, it's less than my accounts about 53,000 us. Oh, is it? I have two account numbers now, one at 45 and one at 13. So it'll be 58. Yeah. So it's like 9% return. So 9% a month is amazing. That's incredible. Uh, so sorry for not mentioning that. Um, I'll put in, I'll put a, a timestamp in the description or in the comments talking about my percentage return. So it's about 9%. I'm very happy with that. Yeah. So overall, um, or I think June is red so far. Hopefully we can turn it around. But um, right now I have only two strategies that run Mondays and Wednesdays that are live with my real money. So um, I want to diversify more. I need to because this volatility is getting, it's, I need to reduce that volatility, reduce that risk so I can scale easier. And in order to do that, you have to create more strategies. So I've been working on some, some new strategies using my, my software tool, my AI generation tool that I custom built for myself to auto generate strategies. And we are, we are testing a Tuesday, a Thursday and a Friday trading bot. I want to add a one for Sunday as well. That needs to get in there. Um, so those are incubating the running and paper trading, and hopefully they'll be good to go for July and we can get those live and have five strategies going. If we get Sunday, that'd be six strategies going. So super excited for that. And, um, yeah, I want to start seeing some better returns and then up my position sizing. So anyways, that's the video guys. That's my May 2021 returns. Full transparency. This is real money. No BS. I'm not paper trading. I'm not lying. I'm not Photoshopping these results. These are real. You can see my account number here. Um, you can see when I, you know, uncheck it, the results change. I just, I want to show you guys the real results of what you can make or lose per month. Right. I think next, next June, uh, this, uh June, I'm going to probably lose money and you're going to see how much I'm going to lose. Um, so. I just want to be transparent with you and not lie to your face and, and just document my progress. Okay. And I, th I think you guys enjoy that. So anyways, that's my May, 2021 returns. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found value, please leave a like and comment down below. Uh, I just love to hear from you guys and I respond to every comment and I appreciate all of you for watching this. So anyways, have a good, have a good weekend guys. And, uh, we'll see you next week.